Well, hey, all day. I was just kind of thinking, you know, like my grandpappy told me that, you know, you're going to, you're going to be good at three things in life. And when you find those three things out and you get good at it, you're going to be happy. Well, I found out two of them. I'm real good at jumping jacks, believe it or not. I'm a master at jumping jacks. And I'm also a master at weed whacking. I'm very good at weed whacking, but I don't know what the third thing is. I really just don't. And, you know, I, I look around at different places to find out what it is I can't. I thought maybe it was doing women's feet or, you know, maybe playing the piano, but that ain't it. No, it ain't that at all. Well, then I start to thinking now. And this is what we all got to ask ourselves. Is our thinking kind of thick and gooey and oozing out something that's really stinking? Is our logic weak and watery and kind of dripping all down through our good reasoning and our sensibility? I don't know. Are our thoughts all knotted up with rusty cable wire? And we just don't know what to do. Is our lawns and lights all screwed up, jumping around, doing things weird, and we just don't know what's happening? Well, what I mean is, is your longitude's kind of, you know, got an attitude, and your latitude, well, I'll tell you what they are, you know, they're not, they're not too good, they're pretty lousy. So what it means is, we're lost. We don't know where we are, we don't know how to get out of it. It's like, you know, being up in some 12, 13,000 foot mountains, and all you do when you look up and see the sky, and all you look down is long, hard, nasty rocks, and glaciers and ice and falls a thousand feet what are you going to do it's scary because you don't know what to do you ain't you don't got the right kind of information to to do and save yourself it's tough you know you need truth well then there's some of us you know might be lost within ourselves like me trying to find out what's that third thing you know and you get depressed and you get you just feel bad and think you're nobody and wonder who you are and you decide, what the hell, I think I'll just bend over and kiss my ass goodbye. Well, you do that and the problem is you mess up and you end up kissing your ankle. And it was a good thing too, probably, because I'll tell you what, your butt decided that it wasn't farting enough this year. So it made up for it by farting for the last three months equal to that. It's farted a whole lot, so that wasn't too good a thing either. But then you're kissing your ankle and you look and you know what you find out? I'll tell you what. You said, dang on, these pretty good looking ankles. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. They're so pretty, I can't end my life. I've got to stand up tall and be proud of these ankles. You know, and let my butt do what it wants to do. If it's not farting enough this year, let it do and get some more until it's satisfied. Well, that's a good thing to do, you know? Now, some of us then, on the other hand, they're lost. They're not lost because they want to be. They don't even know they are. There's all kinds of pitfalls and trash piles and manure piles that are all ready to And they don't even know they're doing it because somebody is directing them in that, in that way. So what they can happen, what they can do is a few people from gain from everybody else being lost, and that's bad. Because what you need is truth. Truth is just one thing that tells you exactly where you are, what you need to do to get to where you need to be, and where the best place is to be. And that's what truth is. Now, a lot of people don't like that because they can benefit if they lie to you, and they can benefit a whole lot. So they, they kind of distort things a little bit. Now, that's the problem, because a lot of us don't want to follow what we know is true, but how can we follow something that we don't know is true or not, because there's so much lies out there and distortions. You know, we spend too much time depending on other people to help us. Well, how do we find out? Well, you know, there's social media, newspapers, magazines, you know, news on the national level and state level, all kinds of levels, local level, and all this other kind of stuff. So that's where a lot of people go to that news. Now, I'll tell you, whatever you get your news, wherever you get it from, there's four kinds. Now, there's truthful news. Now, truthful food got no lies in it. Tells you exactly where you are, what you need to be, so that you're not lost anymore. There's no lies. There's no distortion. There's nothing. But the problem of it is, 
it's hard to do and nobody really does it because it don't benefit the few people that own all the no sources of news. Well, then there's another kind of news that's almost as good as truthful news called cranked out news. Now that's no, de no design to make it lie and to distort things around. No, it's nothing like that at all. But they're just not as careful. And, you know, they might be picking up a few droppings from a few various types of rodents and a few little cat hairs in the duck soup. It's just not as good as truthful news in which we all need. Then there's third kind of news. It's just crap. It's totally pointless. Has no meaning to it. All it is, for some reason, the crap just people like it. It don't taste good. They don't need it, but it don't smell either. And they just waste time on a bunch of useless and inane things. That's all they do, and that just wastes time, and we don't got time to waste. Now, the worst kind of news in which most of the news is out there is called candy bar news. Now, that's what they do. They got all the kind of lies and distortions and bad data and just lousy information that's not true that only benefits a few, and they wrap it around and all that stuff and glass and nails and old tin cans, wrap it up in paper and pour some cheap chocolate over it, wrap it up in the candy bar, and everybody just seems to get his love it, and they believe it. It's not good. It's bad because truth is the only way that you're going to find out to do the right thing. Because remember, we talked once before about old mammy nature and reality. They don't mess around. It's going to be their way or nowhere, even if it takes time for them to be pissed off and their anger manifested on you to where you know you're screwed up and everybody else is around you. So, now I got my news. I got my news from a, well, we call it, it's called Neighborhood News 17. Now, this news, okay, its philosophy is we don't need to give them steak while we waste the money. We'll just fantasize them with that daggone sizzle. That's right, because they say their sizzle don't fizzle even in the drizzle. And they're so daggone think about it. And what they say for and it's all what they believe in. This is very important. He says that everything's for one and everybody else, well, they're just lost. If it's good for the few... Okay, it's the right thing to do. If it's good for everybody else, well, we're doing the wrong thing, these people say. They're just crazy. Now, I tell you, that, local, that, that little neighborhood news that I was, that was 17 News, they're getting out there, and they're, they're owned by a, by a corporation called Double D, which stands for Dastardly and Diabolical. Yeah, and they're owned by a man by the name, of, he's a he's well-endowed man, and, and his name is Little Dicky Creeper. And his wife is known, his name, her name is, uh, let me think here. Yeah, that's right. It's, well, she's lewd, little Lexi, bodacious. And they're not exactly the world's greatest people. But they love, they love, oh God, they do love to suck about flag, country, and God. That's right. They want to say it big. Because you know what? If you do it in the right light, they said it makes your day teeth bright and, and makes her hair highlight show well. And the best thing about it, when they say flag, God, and country, when they hide behind it, nobody looks around. Nobody sees it. And they can do any rotten thing they want to do. That's the kind of people they are. Now, I tell you what, you think it, but this is a well-organized organization. It really is. Now, you know as well as I do that anchor people, they ain't intellectually mountains they're almost not even hardly a, a foothill of intellectual so you know that and they got no sensitivity they're hard as rocks because they spent their whole life thinking about themselves and they can't think on their feet so they hired somebody her name was little annie inkling and it was her job to be daggone uh, the reading counselor and the sensitivity tutor and the daggone acting trainer so they could go around there because her thing was, look, you don't have to be an anchor person and think. You just got to read. And we'll teach you a little bit of acting and we'll try to give you a little sensitivity so you act like, well, you know, you, you're sort of into this thing like you got some kind of empathy for somebody. That's what they do. Now, any day going local news got twisted truth. So they hired some of the three of the very best writers there was. Now, the main guy was called Peter Sleezrat. 
Oh, he, he was in, uh, he, that's right, sleeves right. And then they had a little Susie slanted. And they gone, they had a little truly Slithermore. That's right, that's kind of they were. And they're clever. And they say, I'll tell you what. If it's written well, I'll tell you what. All's well for those little few people that got all the money in the world. Right. You know, if it's done right, if it's not, if everybody else is happy, because remember, it's not for everybody. It's only for a few, and everybody else just plain has to take whatever little sucking things left that are left. Keep that in mind. Now, some of us don't like very much. They don't like going out here thinking. So, you know, if they want somebody to interpret the news for them, well, I'll tell you what. Old Neighborhood 17 News has got one of the best. Her name is damn Naughty. Not exactly. That's right. Naughty, not exactly. She could twist things around and I'll tell you what, you think it's great. So they got this thing pretty well, pretty well squared away. Now let me think of it. There's one other guy there that do. I tell you when all these news people out there and they're reading their news. And they have to read well. I mean, there's no question about that. That's why they're trained. They don't have to think well, but just read well. And try to look like they got a little empathy. You know what I'm trying to say. And they can't act too good. But they, like I say, little Annie Anklin helps them a little bit. And so they can look like they're somewhat appropriate to what they're reading. You know, that's what it is. So it is, it's, it's a sad situation. Now, you can't have a news without a news team. Now, they got the punching, crunching news team made up of some rather unusual little daggone people. Now, right now, the chief anchor man is little Monty Groinfreak. No, I'm sorry, it's Grointy Majestic. And the reason why they changed his name is obvious. Now, what he believed in, if you look well, you read well, and your teeth look good, a lot better than mine, I'll tell you that right now, you're going to do a good job as an anchor man. Well, then they've got a couple of women anchor people. One's a person and one's an anchorette. Now, the anchor person, her name is Little Tinkles Wee Wee. Now, Little Tinkles Wee Wee, she's pretentious. Lord knows that. She's pious. She's petite and she's pushy. And she's absolutely preposterous. But she looks good and she spends her whole life trying to, to prove that a, a hussy could never be a lady, but a floozy can. And she says, you know what? Because I used to be a floozy. Now look at me now. Well, then they had a little anchorette, another one. Now her name was little cutesy cocksure. That's right. Now what she said was, and always remember this, you can be an asshole and go far as long as you've got a pretty butt leading the way. And she certainly does, so she uses that. Well, then there's another little junior, junior anchorette or person, and her name is Little Bouncy Blouse Buster. Now, you know what? When it comes to brain power and wit, you know, you know, she's pretty much under the table. You know, other than that, but other than that, from bottom to top, she's a little too much. Now, what she believes in is just get what you can get, and I don't care what else I do it. Period. Now, they come out to another one, the news team. Now, they have a little loose because her name is Little. What was her name now? Oh, no, it wasn't Floozy. It was Little Fluffy Flaunted. Well, now, for a woman who has absolutely just about next to nothing, she does do a good job of showing what she got. Even though it's not much, she shows it off. Keeps the men mighty happy. Really is. you got to give her credit. Then you got a little other weatherman, and either one of them know whether the weather is going to be right or not, so they don't worry about it. You know, they just get on there and say what to do. And that, and his name was what was his name? Oh yeah, Jack, Jack Oftenmeyer. Yes, and he believed in a pinch. You could always do for yourself better than anybody else. He's a little strange. He really was, but that's the crew we got here and the punch and crunching team on the local, well, we call it not local, it's called neighborhood. Neighborhood News 17, they want to get closer. They don't want to be just local, they want to be in the neighborhood, and they're hoping that someday they can be in people's basements or even in their bathrooms so they can really be close to the people. See? 
what they do. Now, that's what they got on them. Now, they got a sports guy, and his name is Herschel. Herschel Quickshot. And what he do, he said he can. He never misses a target on anything. That's right. If there's something he can shoot, he'll do it, and he's not a bad dude at it. He loves the women, too, too much. But that's him. So, you know, you haven't got a whole, whole lot of things going on with this. But I tell you what, when it comes to little Dickie Creeper and his little Ludy wife, and his lewd wife, little Lexi Bodacious, they're very happy with the team because they can take truth, bend it, twist it, so it benefits them. The hell with everybody else. And they say, look, if we got they don't want to think for themselves, hell. We'll think for them, and we're, we're thinking of ourselves. We're going to get something done. So the truth is very, very important, and you're not going to find it much in news. you got to think for yourself and find out so you're not lost. All these people are nothing. I mean, it's a sad thing, these news people. You know what? They got it. They don't think. They don't feel. They just read it. And even like I say, we was talking about, I forgot about that, but we was talking about your daggone little, uh, what was the name? Handyman, Handyman Hank, Hanky? No, it wasn't Hanky, it wasn't Handyman. It was Hank Handler. They, he teaches them how to sit there and hold their tablets so they look like they're daggone standing up with their tablets. And that's it. Well, I hope you get something out of this, and I hope I find that third thing I'm good at. Because I want to find that out. So I'll tell you, I'll be seeing you all soon. Thank you. Bye.